Hello, everybody, and welcome to my YouTube channel, Star Now Link. And today's the topic discussion. I thought maybe we would go ahead and talk about energy vampires. Now, I understand that since we're starting to approach um, the holiday seasons and also for next year, a lot of people are probably going to be reconnected with people start new projects and meet new people or just meet new people in general throughout their life. And the one thing that a lot of people will start to realize is that um, they'll start to encounter energy vampires. Um, the two things that people need to know is that there's two different kinds of energy vampires. There is a thing called energy vampires, but they're also called energy leeches. Um, and they're not particularly from people, they're actually from the environment. And these leeches are similar to what energy vampires do. And they are usually in areas where there is a lot of spiritual trauma, a lot of negativity, and they just like to be in that area and drain. And that's where you get the sense of energy, vampire being energy drain. Now, the one thing that a lot of people don't know is that these areas that have high negative energy that is connected to the environment that they're in, either in a building or outside, somewhere there's a lot of negative energy or spiritual trauma that occurred there over the years re reincurring. Um, these energy leeches can attach to people and can actually turn people into energy vampires when they're not realizing it. And sometimes a lot of people don't know that they are energy vampires because they do it un unknowingly or not intentionally. Um, the other type of energy vampires is coming from an actual person. Um, there are a couple of different kinds of energy vampires depending on what they target. Um, sometimes energy vampires um, can be a person that is in a really, really bad mood and is just sucking the energy from the environment and from people to make them feel better. This is usually a sign that they need help. And when they start to do that, when they're really, really in a moody, in a mood, um, they'll start to drain energy from the environment or from um, people and you'll start to see that. And it's usually a sign of help, that they need help. Um, sometimes they just need someone to talk to, and sometimes they just need to be learned how to stop being an energy vampire. And that can be really, really difficult. Um, the other energy vampire is um, mental um, vampires. Um, these constantly attack your mental and emotional awareness. They constantly drain you, emo drain you emotionless or drain your emotions. And they also like to play mind tricks on you. And a lot of people think that it's a little bit like psychic attack. Well, psychic attack is when you're constantly being attacked over and over again. But with um, energy vampires, they will attack you, attack one specific area at you to provoke a certain type of emotion from you and drain that type of emotion away from you. Like for an example, they want to get you angry. And I do mean extremely angry to the point where you start making a scene. And they want you to do this because they want to feed off that anger. Um, another type of energy vampire is a physical energy vampire. They drain off your body. Um, they physically make you tired you start to have um, physical ailments, like your joints start to become painful, or you start to have back pain, or something uh, something physical starting to happen with your body. Um, 
the other um energy vampire that a lot of people don't talk about and probably not aware is also called sexual energy vampires um what these type of vampires do is that they will mess with your um libido or sex drive as it's called they will either make you really real they will increase your libido energy to the point where you can't stand it and you have to have a physical release. And they're usually right there when you need them for that particular moment. And that's an energy vampire. They feed off that sexual or libido energy. Um, the other thing that a sexual, ener sexual energy vampire does is that they will feed you energy in your brain to the point where you cannot think straight um and this also goes with mental vampires too they will sometimes work in conjunction with each other the other thing that i have learned about sexual vampires is that sometimes that if if you're around them really really long enough to the point where you will probably probably will lose the essence of your sexual desire or sexual libido for some time like they will specifically target people who have you know an average or a very very high libido and they will suck it from them and then once that happens um they that person will never feel their sexual energy for a couple of weeks to a couple of months depending on what they do so there's two different types of sex, sexual vampires there's the one that really increase it and there are ones that drain that sexual energy to the point where you can't feel it at all um then there is another type of psychic vampire or energy vampire as it's called which is called a spiritual vampire and they like to attack your aura or your soul essence and this is usually done in the astral realm. They are particularly known to contact you in your dream state and mess with you in your dream state and do and basically um, mess around with your dream state. So the thing about energy vampires and a lot of people need to understand is how to prevent them from draining energy from you. And this can be really difficult. Um, the first thing that I would recommend that I usually do is pinpoint where it is coming from. Is it coming from your environment or is it coming from a person? Now, if it's coming from an environment, there are ways to protect you. This is where spiritual work comes in help. You create a protection bubble around you. Um, a lot of people sometimes wear um, special stones when they go out to order to protect them from being drained from certain um, environments. Now, if now if an energy draining comes from a person um, is to identify which person it's coming from. Sometimes there might be more than one person that it's coming from. Um, sometimes they can target innocent people and make it feel like they're an energy vampire and not really an energy vampire. So you have to be very, very keen on where it is actually coming from and who it's coming from and what they are targeting. Um, sometimes a lot of energy vampires um, don't know that they're doing it because they do it so naturally. Um, the other, the first thing that I would recommend is f first find out who it is and see whether or not that you can approach them um, and talk to them, be their friend. Um, sometimes this can be really, really alarming to people, but sometimes, sometimes just talking to them, be their friend and start a general conversation with them and let them know um see if something is wrong sometimes a lot of energy vampires are just doing it because they need help and they need someone to talk to and they don't know who to talk to and so sometimes just talking to them about stuff can sometimes stop them from being energy vampires now i would not recommend to 
like if they show signs that they do not want to be messed with then don't mess with them don't talk to them to go don't go near them if you feel like they are a danger to you um the other thing that i have found out is that a lot of people who do deal with energy vampires are sometimes have um energy threads that are connected to them and this is usually done when you are near someone and they try to attach um their energy like a hook into you in order to drain energy um there's an easy way to get rid of energy leeches or energy um lines that are connected to you and one of that thing is um um slag type um slag type is um really really good to cut threads or cut energy threads off of you. And it's really, really nice because you can get them in a worry stone and put them in your pocket before you leave. And sometimes you can do this to yourself before you go into a public setting. And sometimes you can do it while you're in a public setting, but either in the bathroom or somewhere, and you feel like you're being energy drained, you can cut those energy threads from um, slagmite. Um, the other, I think it's Slagmite or Slagnite, I think that's how you say it, but I will go ahead and leave the name of the stone that I'm talking about in the description below. Um, there is also another stone called Tiger Eye, and it's really good for, um, grounding and psychic attacks. A lot of times when people get energy attacked, really really easily is due to the fact that they're not grounded and they can um be really really easy targets because that's what energy vampires target are people who are not grounded as an individual um the other thing about energy vampires um the way to get their energy away from you or just make them stop is that sometimes you have to bounce their energy back to them and like bounce it back like hey I know that you're doing this maybe you're not aware of it maybe you are and sometimes you just need to be like as your spirit and as your soul to tell them that you need to knock it off like you need to stop doing this this is not okay I do not consent to this and sometimes they're a little bit alarmed by that and so this is the reason why a lot, this is the reason why I activate um advocate for spiritual awareness and spiritual enlightenment. Sometimes you don't really need to go into the deeper stuff. It's just learning the basics like grounding, protecting yourself, and keeping your energies balanced is usually the most important things to learn first when you're starting out. The other the other thing that is is that um when you're dealing with energy vampires sometimes they can leech onto you so sometimes doing a spiritual cleanse like once you leave an area can get rid of these spiritual leeches that get latched onto you either from the environment or from the person and a lot of sometimes a lot of people don't know that they actually have these energy leeches um sometimes another way that a lot of people um repel energy vampires is usually um with um scent like perfume um there is natural perfume that people can use like lavender um sage um certain type of natural perfumes that you can use for yourself before you go into somewhere public depending on where you're going to order to protect 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 yourself and certain um perfumes are really good to repel energy vampires and it is known and in um, incense or the smell of perfumes have been used for centuries to ward off evil spirits and other beings that are negative so perfume is really good using certain stones that you want to use as protection is really good it just depends on what method works for you. And sometimes it can take a while to order to learn how to protect yourself. So I really hope that what I talked about in this video can help others. 
And let me know if you have any questions or comments, leave them below or contact me through my business email. But thank you so much for listening. I really hope this helps people. And um, please like or subscribe to my channel.